right, guys, we got another job we're about to start on here. This is uh, some more custom work that I'm going to be doing for uh, someone local here. And uh, what, what the customer is wanting to do is uh, adapt some Chevrolet parts to a Volkswagen. And uh, so they're, they're converting. What they want to try to do is convert these Chevrolet or GM parts over to fit on to the Volkswagen. So we're having to make some modifications. We've got a uh, VW hub right here. This is the stock original sizing and component. And we're going to be modifying these uh, Chevrolet hubs and flanges right here to fit on the car. And they're also going to be using this uh, GM axle right there. So got the different things that we're going to do. And uh, I'll pull the camera down here a little bit closer so you can get a little better shot of what we're going to do here. Alrighty, so there's the, this is what the original hub looks like right there. And I believe what all this started with is that they are wanting to run these larger GM size axles or Chevrolet, I believe is what it is. <clears throat> uh, this is for drag racing stuff right here. They, they've got a, a VW that they, uh, that they drag race and they're trying to beef up uh, these components here to keep from breaking. So they, uh, they came to me and asked if I could uh, help with some of this machining that needed to be done because this is all just kind of custom and uh, modifications that we're going to be doing. So this is the GM flange and the hub assembly right here. So what we got to do is remove this bearing hub assembly off of the actual uh, flange and uh, I guess that would be the flange there that has the spline in there. And so here is the Here's the axle right there. So that's going to fit, you know, something like that. Actually, I've got it backwards. I'm sorry. It's going to go something like that right there. All right. So he's had uh, someone else in town help him with one of these as they were trying to uh, get this figured out on how they could make it work. So we've got to remove this bearing right there. So they've already messed with one and they were able to get it apart without a lot of trouble. You just, you know, you got to have a lathe to be able to make this stuff easy to work with. So we'll chuck this up in the, in the lathe there on this side. And we're going to come in here and we're going to use the tool and actually cut away this area right there where they actually install this from the factory. They cramped that in there. So once we cut this away, this should allow this flange right here, this bearing assembly to be pulled off fairly easy. And he actually supplied some uh, bolts. I don't remember where I set them now. Oh, the bolts are right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking around for them. So once we get this uh, area cut away right there, we should be able to use these bolts right here as like a jacking bolt and be able to uh, screw those in there and actually push this bearing housing here off of the, off of the hub. So that'll be the first step right there. And once we get all four of those off, then we're going to modify these hubs and machine them to have this profile right here with a couple differences. So they're going with, they found the, the largest bearing that they could. This is a 42 millimeter ID bearing. So the bearing is going to fit on there like so. All right. So two millimeters larger than the, than the factory bearing that goes on there. Uh, just trying to get as much meat inside of here as they can get so that was the, the the best bearing that they could find so we're going to machine those 42 millimeters we're going to profile these steps and registers in there just like that and uh, make it so that this bearing fits we've also got to trim the od of the flange this uh, diameter right there we've got to trim that so that will fit the brake disc this is the brake disc that will be used on the car and you see it's too big to fit in there. So all these will be modified so that you can buy these over-the-counter parts and fit on there without any problems. And then the other deal is you can see where one of the bolt holes was welded up. So we, we've got to machine the proper a four lug pattern in these flanges for the VW wheels, which, which I believe I got it in the notes. It's four by 100 millimeter, I believe. So Usually anytime you, you're trying to go from a, a five to a four or a four to a five, if you're within the same bolt circle diameter, anywhere close, you're, one of those holes is gonna collide with the other. So you got to you know, weld up one of your holes and uh, so you got a, a good place there to drill. So he's already taken that and, and welded them up and ground them down even. And uh, they did a pretty good job right there. You know, so that's, we're not gonna have to do that. So that'll be later, we'll do that in the mill. And I believe that's it. That's gonna be the gist of what we gotta do. 
So we'll go down to the Monarch, we'll use that and uh, start seeing how much trouble it is to get one of these bearing assemblies off, off the flange. All right, these situations like this, you know, flying into something like this blindly, you're not, not really sure what you're going to come across. So I went ahead and I wanted to start the first one so that I could figure out what exactly is going to uh, take place to get this thing apart. So, and I'm glad I did because it was a lot more metal removal than what I thought. So this is the first one right here. And, you know, I've never messed with these before. It's the first time that I've ever had to actually get one apart. I've just never had to mess with it. So this area right in here has been it's from the manufacturer somehow. They press this over or roll it over somehow to capture this in there. So this has to be machined down. Not that this is just a metal keeper that holds that seal up in there but this has actually got to be machined down a little bit so we'll get this cover this little shield off out of the way and then we'll go in there and actually machine this away we'll have to get into the bearing race as well so it's a little bit involved but now that I got one of them one of them apart I kind of know what what to expect it is going to blow through some carbide and uh, I've got plenty of extra carbide inserts around here that I'm planning on using for this that have been given to me. So not too much worry of you know messing up good carbide inserts. So we're going to put an indicator on this flange right here and make sure that the flange is, is actually running nice and true. We're going to use my stair attachment right here to get in there on this flange, make sure that I'm clearing here. We want to get in here on the highs and bump them around a little bit. Looks like it's got a low spot. Oh, that's the weld I'm looking at there. Okay. It's looking like that's going to be pretty good right about there. So we'll move the indicator and I'm going to retorque the, the chuck, make sure that it is good and tight. Okay. All right, so we'll get in here with this uh, little brazed on tool and see if we can get this little shield popped out of there. Not that it's really all that critical, but the first one I did, it just kind of fell out of there. There we go. Alright, so that's that's some kind of little, no, that's hot. That's some kind of little metal shield that they press in there over the top of the oil seal there. So now you can see we're going to, this is the bearing race right here, but we've got to remove some of this right in here as well to get this to come off there. That's the, ah. Uh, I gotta get my ear plug. That stuff squeals. That's the tool that I was using last right there. I'm just gonna use it up until it burns it up, which it will. We're just gonna turn it back a little at a time. 
if you go too fast, it's, it'll just burn that carbide up in a second. So you just got to run it nice and slow. I just go back until it catches this hub, like that. that it's yeah we still got a tool there all right it's got that edge I'm gonna have to turn that insert around this is a box of inserts that Keith Finner had given me see just the whole box full so when you got plenty of inserts like this you know you can you can afford to kind of go through and burn this stuff up so I'm gonna use some of these to cut this Let's see if this tool will work much better than any of them. You can kind of see in there now what I'm talking about. This, you see it goes down in there. This, this area here is sort of like a flange to capture this race. change that corner around because it's already burned up. To get the bearing to press off there, you got to be below 1 inch 850, so we're just about there now. Let me go ahead and take some more of that. I think it'll press off now. Go ahead and give it a try. We'll put our bolts in here and see if it'll uh, push off now. It's not wanting to move. I have to take a little bit more. It might not be back far enough. Let me. Uh, I didn't face it back as far as I did on that first one. Let me take some more off there before I do this. Do this. Ah. That 
carbide is not holding up at all. No. I think that gold color when I was using before was working better than these. Those are chipping away. There we go. I think we might have it this time. Yep, there we go. You just got to get it down to the right area. Probably be better if I go <laughs> get a ratchet. I might do that for the next ones. Get it past this this front race here. It'll fall off there. There it comes. All right, there it is. And there's the race. And that's it. Kind of a funky setup. So now, now you know what they mean by, uh, you know, replaceable hubs. No, um, you know, most cars now don't have rebuildable hubs, hubs like this. This is why they're, they're permanently put together. And when they fail, you throw it away and you put another one on there. All right. So that's one down and I got to show you that one so there's really no need to show you the other two I'm gonna go ahead and get those two done and get us all four of them down to this level right here <laughs> 